Hey everybody, Mark from Northeast Bass Fishing. Uh, how's it going? It's been a while. Um, <laughs> I did that video after the uh, New Hampshire Outdoor Expo and I showed you all the great baits I got from Pete from Stolman and Sun Lures. And uh, then the week after we had a huge storm up here. Lost power for a day and a half. Um, spent the whole week clearing the driveway and removing snow um, after the power came back on. And then the weekend after I got sick and I've been pretty much sick for about four or five days. I'm fi starting to find, uh, finally starting to feel a little better, like a virus thing, sinuses, eyes, ears, everything. So finally I can hear a little bit and my eyes aren't all red. So um, I figured it's time to catch up on some of these videos. And I wanted to show you a few of the things uh, that I hadn't shown you yet that I picked up at the New Hampshire Outdoor Expo. Um, let me see. Uh, one of the cool things that I got was this, I was talking to Matt. And I don't know if you guys have ever heard of uh, Pine, Nine, uh, Pine Nine Holsters. They're in Nashua, New Hampshire. And I met Matt, and this is Matt's card. Uh, I met him at the show. His booth was near where the Stoneman booth was. And he uh, gave me one of these holsters, these uh, fishing holsters, uh, to try out. Because I'd never even considered it or thought of it. I thought they were just selling holsters for guns over there, but he has them for fishing too. And how it works, I just have, I got one of these kids' rods here. You just put it in the holster. And for you guys that are bank fishermen, I can see this being real, really pretty, a nice thing to have, you know, and you can just, you know, put it on your belt, pop your rod in there and, uh, and reel and just let it sit there while you retie, take a leak, have a sandwich, whatever. And even if you're on your boat and uh, we know, you know, as fishermen, when we put stuff down on the boat, you know, you're stepping on it, it's in the way. Um, even if you just had this on your on your belt while you're fishing, you know, put your rod and reel in there and retie, because then you just have your line hanging right down. So it's kind of an interesting idea. I told him I'd try it and let him know what I thought. So I figured I'd show it to you guys. But that's um, that's from Pine Nine Holsters. That's their company. They're located, like I said, Nashua, New Hampshire. And that's Matt, who who I spoke to. Nice guy. And uh, I think it's a kind of a cool idea. So I'll, I'll give it a shot and see how I like it. But for you, I think especially for you shore fishermen, this would be a great idea. Make your life a little easier. Uh, let's see, a couple other things I got. Um, just walking around the show, seeing the different booths. A few guys up, uh, you know, in the northeast here. Rocky Ledge uh, Tackle has great spinner baits, uh, topwater baits, all sorts of crankbaits and things. And they had these, I haven't seen these... <laughs> these uh, JDC, you know, spider grubs, since I used to get them at Northern Bass Supply. And he had a bunch, and so I had to grab some, because I, I, this is this was my favorite spider spider jig back in the day. And um, this JDC, J, uh, JDC Bait Company, um, I don't know when they stopped producing baits, when they went out of business, but for whatever reason, uh, Jim has a whole bunch of them. So I was talking to Kim and Jim there, and... Um, I said, well, I'm going to grab some of these and stock up. So I know I've shown you when I did my spider spider jig video, I showed you some of the other ones. And this is the 5-inch um, JDC crawl, which I like. And I grabbed, what is the color is this? This is called Pickle Seed. So I grabbed some colors I didn't know if I had, because I do have a lot of them. But it never hurts to stock up either, especially with some. When you find a bait you like that's, that isn't produced anymore and you find somebody that's got it, you grab them. <laughs> especially when it's like 3 for 10 bucks. So if you guys are at the... Uh, <clears throat> Well, he can sun show this weekend. They probably have them hanging up there. I didn't have any in this bubblegum color, which is a great color for dirty water. So I grabbed the, um, grabbed a pack of that in the JDC Crawl. And then I grabbed this one, which I never saw before, this, water, this watermelon with the chartreuse fleck. I grabbed some of them. But they have a lot of, I mean, custom-made, you know, spinner baits. Chatterbaits, crankbaits, all that good kind of stuff, other than just this. I grabbed these because this is like a, in my mind, a classic lure that I can't find anymore, so I had to grab them. So I got three packs of those from them. Uh, let's see, what else did I grab? Oh, here, I got some, uh, now I can't find any information online where, like, where Zamorelli Tackle is. Maybe they just do the shows. I'm sure they must have a store somewhere, but I don't see them online. Uh, maybe they're on Facebook. Uh, if I can find info on how to, like, you know, get to their, like, if they have a website or anything. But I just see them at the show, and they've always got good stuff. And he had some, uh, some chatterbaits that I saw. And I grabbed one of the, uh, the Z-Man Big Blade. This, I think, is, is this a three-quarter ounce? No, this is a half ounce. I like that orange blade. I didn't have one with the orange blade. I wanted to try it. 
So that's that big blade Z-Man chatterbait. I figured I'd grab one of them. And I know I did a video fairly recently on the, uh, the Z-Man, the chatterbait CFL, the bladed football head jig. And I only had three eighths ounce ones that I bought at uh, Land Big Fish. And he had some of the uh, half ounce and the three quarter ounce. So I grabbed three of them. So I got, uh, let's see, this is a three quarter ounce. I want to get a little heavier ones for fishing deeper. And this is the peanut butter and jelly color. And I know I showed you guys these in another video. But as I said, I wanted to get this bigger size. And he had some right there. So I grabbed them. So you can see it's got that bigger head. So that's that peanut butter and jelly. That's the three quarter ounce size. So this will be really good for that deeper water. And I don't know, I three quarter might, I don't know if they make a one ounce. No, three eighths is the biggest. Or three quarters, I should say. That's peanut butter and jelly. I also got one in the money maker color, and that is also three quarter of an ounce. As I'll leave these out of the box, so I'm gonna put them in the put them in my other chatter baits when I'm done. But there you go. And like I said on the other video, you can change these hooks out if you want a different hook. It'll pop out here and you can put whatever hook on you like. There you go. That's a three quarter ounce in that moneymaker color. And then there was a half ounce size in the black and blue. And so I grabbed that. So now I've got, a th I've got some three eighths ones. That I got a half ounce and I got some three quarters. So I have all three sizes of the bait. And I can see which one I like better when I'm really fishing deeper water. There's that black and blue. Can't go wrong with that. So that's that Z-Man Freedom Tackle CFL Football Head Chatterbait. I got some more of those. And I think, let me see what else I wanted to show you guys. Um, oh, when I was talking to, uh, to Kim and Jim, and Jim was telling me about, right across from him was FX rods. And I have not really treated myself to a high-end rod in a while. And um, he said with the, you know, he, Jim was telling me how great they are. I went and started looking at them. And I met uh, Chris Williams. He's the dealer there at the show, and the other guys, nice guys. And um, we started talking, and I told him I was interested in, you know, I was thinking of getting a new uh, jerkbait rod uh, for this season, and I do like throwing it on a spinning rod. So I got my first ever, oops, I don't want to smack anything here, my first ever FX rod. And I got to tell you guys, this FX, FX Extreme rods are really nice. And this is, let me see if I can remember. This is their seven foot medium, fast action. And I'm gonna use this for jerkbait fishing. Cause I like throwing jerkbaits as I hit the light on a spinning rod. I think those guys can see the lettering on there. I hope this comes out when you look at the video. But I mean, I know on a video it's hard to show fishing rods because you, know, you can't see them that well, but these are really nice looking rods. So I haven't used an FX rod yet. I've heard a lot of great things. There's the info on the back of that card. I hope that comes out. That's the model I got, the FX series. Now, I, well, the problem is, is I'll like them, and then every time I go to the show, I'll be get, getting a new, sh getting a new uh, rod every year. But, um, you know, the show price is great, 140 bucks for a $200 rod, and it's high quality. But that's the, that's the details on the rod that I bought. I don't know how well you'll be able to see that, but you can look these up on their website. Um, <clears throat> Chris himself, I think, lives up by Lake Champlain, he told me. I think FX Rods is located in Georgia. I'm not, I think I saw that online. But I'll put information to all these different companies that I can find. Samarelli Tackle is the only one I can't find. Rocky Ledge is right here in Pittsfield, uh, New Hampshire. Uh, Pine Nine is right in Nashua, New Hampshire. I know Chris himself is in New York, but uh, the main company is uh, in Georgia. But that's, I got other stuff that I'll just do videos on, on this, you know, the Somatis stuff and the, the Crazy Hicks stuff that I got. But um, I just wanted to kind of put these ones that I had a couple things from a diff bunch of different places together and do one video on so I don't have a, a two-hour video. So that's some of the cool things that I got at the show. Um, so I've been away for <laughs> two weeks, but I had to... In a storm and then I'm recovering from being sick so I'm starting to feel better so hopefully I can catch up on some of these videos I wanted to do um, hopefully uh, fishing will be able to start soon I picked my boat up yesterday from Reynolds uh, and they did some uh, 
had some maintenance on there for me, uh, servicing my motor, my power poles needed some TLC, my Bluetooth needed some TLC, um, and I need a new water pump, you know, because I had a boat, the boat's six years old, and I haven't had a water pump yet, so uh, they told me it was time, so we got that done. So the boat's all ready to go for the season, and uh, now I just need the open water, and of course it's snowing again today. <laughs> now I know it's, it's supposed to be snow rain, and then it's going to be 50 degrees tomorrow, so it's really just more annoying than anything else, but it's still March in New England, so you never know what's going to come through. But I'm hoping, uh, you know, in the next uh, week, uh, well, week probably won't happen, but maybe two weeks, I'll be on the water somewhere. Uh, but then by then, I'll, my head will be totally cleared out and I'll actually feel like going fishing. Uh, but that's it. So I, I'm going to start getting caught up on some of these videos. I have some cool stuff to show you guys, and I will see you soon on YouTube. Mark out.